All right, I'm gonna do a final test for power to uh, the well pump. And all the power is coming from the Big Red Solar Pavilion, all solar powered workshop. And uh, I'm gonna turn the water on, release the pressure in the tank. Uh, the pump should kick on and I'm gonna turn the water off and refill the tank repressurize the system. Pumps on. Turn that water off. Bringing water from the well into the, the tank. And we're getting it pressurized. Should shut off there about 50 PSI. Perfect. And again, this system, it's 115 volts AC, 6.6 .6 amps of current being drawn. And AC, that's not huge amounts of current, but for DC power, Oh, that's going to be running up there about 65 amps of power drawn continuously as long as that pump is on. So it's pretty nice that it has a pressure switch. And uh, I think the first thing I want to do is wash that solar roof on the big red solar pavilion. Here is some technical data of power consumed while operating the shallow well pump. All power is provided by the Big Red Solar Pavilion, all solar powered workshop. The solar powered shallow well pump, 6.6 .6 amps of AC power. That's 759 watts. This amount of power is within the design capabilities of the solar pavilion. Solar panel input power is a maximum of 800 watts per hour. Stored solar energy is only consumed when the pump is on. When the pump tank fills to 51 PSI, the pressure switch contacts open removing power to the well pump, conserving all remaining battery power in the Big Red Power House. I'm Chris, here in the deep, deep woods. Be sure to watch how to hook up a shallow well pump right here on Atlantic Drain. Good connection on this, had to be pretty quick. You might notice I had a little safety on uh, the well pipe.